Hi, you guys. It's Yaz. And today I want to talk about when the narcissist knows that you know. Ta-da! Okay, this is the narcissist's biggest nightmare is when they know that you know what they are, okay? And it's not going to happen right away. Most of the time when people get involved with a narcissist, they either don't know what a narcissist is or they don't recognize a narcissist or they make excuses, okay? Why do people stay with toxic people? Because they make excuses. They think these people are going to change or they start to get, you know, second guess themselves and say, well, maybe I did something wrong or maybe it's my fault or, you know, maybe the narcissist didn't know what they're doing or something like this. The narcissist knows exactly what they're doing. They're not mentally insane, okay? And this is where the debate is. A lot of people will sit there and say, well, narcissists are not self-aware. Narcissists are more aware than you are, okay? That's why they're able to fool you because a narcissist is all about the game, the game of getting what they want, okay? The supply, whatever supply they could be looking for to get out of you. So the first thing that you have to say to yourself is, why is this person with me? Now, a narcissist, their tool is to use charm, okay? This is how they win people over. They, they're very charming. They come in as your hero. They pretend to be so into you. They show you tons of consistency. Um, they try to, you know, show you they're vulnerable. They put that fake mask on in the beginning to pretend that, you know what, you know, they're very empathetic. A narcissist is going to portray the exact opposite of who they truly are, okay? A lot of narcissists, they're going to even act like they're very, you know, sympathetic to people that are hurting, you know, they're, they're somebody's savior, they have heart and everything like that. When in reality, a narcissist can turn cold on you the minute they don't need you. See, this is the thing with a narcissist. This is why being in a relationship with, with a narcissist is like being alone. Because you get involved with this person, you think that you could trust this person, and this is a big mistake, by the way. A lot of people get involved with a narcissist and they trust the narcissist too soon. You trust them too soon because of that consistency in the beginning. They're flooding your phone with calls. They're keeping you on the phone for hours. They're showing you a lot of attention. And when you're out there in this world today and you're dating and most people are flaky or they, you know, they bouncing back and forth from one person to another person to another person, here comes the narcissist and the narcissist floods you with attention and you say to yourself, ooh, this one must be a real one, okay? Without taking your time and really seeing what this person's true character is. And this is why I tell you guys all the time, you've got to move slowly with somebody to truly see what their core character is all about. Who is this person? Have you looked into their background? Have you seen their prior dating track record? Do you look at their financial situation? Are they stable? Are they able to take care of themselves? So you get involved with this person, you put all your trust in this person, and guess what happens once you give your trust to this person? You make yourself vulnerable, okay? Now the narcissist knows that. Now the narcissist starts manipulating you. Now the narcissist, once they really feel that they've got you in their pocket, they're going to start with all the toxic things that a narcissist does. They're going to gaslight you. They may ghost you. They may try to get money out of you after a certain amount of time. And by the way, certain scammers will wait a year before even asking you for a dime. This is how they do it, okay? By then, after love bombing you for a year, now they have you in their pocket and now they hit you with the, oh, you know, I really need help with this bill or I need help with that. And you're going to feel guilty and help them out because they showed you a year of love bombing. But see, here's the thing, you guys. When you're dealing with these people, eventually you're going to get to a point where you start to question things. And you're going to start to say to yourself, you know what? This isn't adding up. They're saying that they're really into me, but then I try to contact them 
you know, all night long and they're not picking up their phone. And the next day they're making excuses. They say they went to bed early or they say their mother was in the hospital. They come out with, narcissists come out with outlandish excuses to try to cover up what they do, all right? And you, because they've shown you that other side, that fake, phony, you know, con artist side that they were like so into you, you start to question it and you start to say, well, you know, maybe I'm I'm questioning them too much. And what a narcissist will do is they will try to get you to doubt yourself. This is the key to what a narcissist does. They want you to question your own thinking, question the truth so that, you know, they could get away with whatever they're doing. A, a lot of narcissists, they'll sit there and they'll say, uh, well, I don't remember or I don't recall. That's the easiest way of getting out of something when they know exactly what they're doing. They love to play the dumb routine, especially covert narcissists. They're famous for playing stupid, okay? They're not stupid. They're very self-aware. Remember that. They're very self-aware. They're very cunning, all right? So the thing is, you get to a point and maybe you educate yourself or you, you know, you do some reading on narcissism or you talk to other friends about what's going on, which the narcissist, this is why the narcissist tries to isolate you from other people, your friends, your family, because they don't want anybody tipping you off to their manipulation. They don't want anybody saying anything to you about anything that they're doing where you start to question it. And now you have this supporter in your corner, a family member, a friend saying, you know what? This person is playing you, okay? So this is why narcissists will have a problem, you know, if they feel that your friends or your family or your supporters, you know, will make you see the light and see that they're toxic. But in any event, you get to a point where you start to see that the narcissist, it's not adding up, okay? It, what they're saying is not matching to their actions. And now, ding, ding, all of a sudden, you have that realization and you say to yourself, oh my goodness, I'm dealing with a narcissist, okay? So what's going to happen now? Now the narcissist, you know, they're going to still try to manipulate you, but you're not going to fall for it. You're not going to be triggered by the games that they play. And what's going to happen? You're going to, the narcissist is going to do one of two things. They're either going to get very, very enraged when they see that you're cool, calm, and in control, and you're not being swayed by them. You've now become indifferent to the narcissist because now you recognize, shit, I'm dealing with a toxic person, okay? So now I know anything out of their mouth doesn't mean shit, all right? So the narcissist can talk that word salad or say whatever the hell they want to say, and guess what? It doesn't mean anything because I'm dealing with a toxic person. And when you deal with a toxic person, the first thing that comes to mind is they have no credibility. So now the narcissist is going to try twice as hard to try to convince you, you know, that they're right. When they start to see that you're not believing them, what's the next thing that that narcissist is going to do? They're going to call you crazy. Okay. <laughs> That narcissist is going to say, you have mental problems, you need therapy, and this is the tool and the goal of the covert narcissist, by the way. Their goal is to call you crazy and try to triangulate to everybody on the outside that you are crazy because of your, um, you know, they create uh, reactive abuse. In other words, they'll trigger you by insulting you, and you go off on that narcissist and then they, they stay very cool and they'll be like, oh, why are you getting angry? Or I didn't want to tell you that because I knew how you would get, okay? These are all excuses so they can get away with what they want to get away with. And then when you get angry, now you're labeled the nut. Now you're labeled the crazy one because of their lies, okay? Because you got all emotional and you got sucked into the BS of the covert narcissist, all right? That's why I tell you, do not defend yourself. Do not go back and forth with that narcissist because it's not going to get you anywhere. A narcissist will not validate what you say. 
They have tunnel vision. They only want to say or they only want to hear what's going to benefit them. So even if you're talking the truth, guess what? They don't care. They're either going to walk out on you, stonewall you, and give you the cold shoulder, and then go no contact with you or the silent treatment, or they're going to rage out on you. So they're going to rage out on you. They may get in your face. They may say you're, you're crazy. They will maybe insult you. They may say you're fat, you're thin, you're old, you're young, you're stupid, you're ignorant, you don't know what you're doing. You know, they're going to, now they're going to insult who you are, okay, because you got them cornered, okay? You see them for exactly what they are, and they see that they see that they're not swaying you. They see that you're not defending yourself and going back and forth with them, and they're going to get wicked with it. A narcissist is going to get wicked with it when they see that you see right through them. First, they're going to try to get wicked with it, or what they could do is now they're going to avoid you and they're going to move on and they're going to start working on other supply if they haven't already. Usually by that time where you get to that point where you actually know what they are, um, the narcissist, the, the relationship has already been declining and, you know, the narcissist has been playing games and the narcissist already has you. And once that narcissist has you, guess what? They're working on other supply for that extra validation because you know what? The chase is over. They got you and now they want to, you know, they love to continue the chase and, and see what else they can get. Okay. So they lose interest once they got you. So they're, they've already been talking to other people. They may even have situations with other people or they, they're just talking to other people. Understand this. When you're dealing with a narcissist, that narcissist is talking to people on the, other, uh, on the outside that you're not aware of. And especially a covert narcissist. They always have secrets. They will never ever be 100% transparent with you. And why is that? Because covert narcissists have no trust. Most narcissists have no trust. They don't trust. That's why they do what they do. So they don't get screwed over in the end. So they're always going to have the upper hand of doing something shady on the side so that if you pull anything, they could always say, well, well, I cheated on you already. I already got the upper hand. So it doesn't hurt them because they're so you know, fragile. They have that fragile ego. God forbid you ever cheated on them and they never cheated on you. So, or, you know, you were talking to somebody and they were loyal. Here's the thing which you got to understand when you're dealing with a narcissist. Most of them don't believe in monogamy, okay? They don't trust people. So they're always going to have something shady going on on the side. So when the relationship starts to break down, that narcissist already has a couple people that they're talking to or somebody on the side that they're talking to. And now you've come to the point that you see this narcissist and you know what they are. So when they realize that and they see that, you know what, you're not you're not getting all emotional because you know what they are. You're, you're stepping back from it a little bit. That narcissist is going to rage. They're going to run or guess what? They're going to love bomb you to try to reel you back in. Okay. But most likely they're not going to love bomb you then because they know that you already see what they are. So what they'll do is you end up breaking up with them and they may come back later on. It could be a year. It could be five years. It could be 10 years. Narcissists are very ballsy. They'll take a chance. And if they're, you know, having a, a, a dry spell and they got nobody around and they're not doing good with what they have, they may just, you know, hit you up down the road and just be like, hey, how you been? Or send you a friend request on Facebook to feel you out, to see if you'll entertain them, even if you know what they are. But most of the time, when a narcissist knows that you know what they are, they're pretty much going to abandon that ship and they're going to run and they're going to move to somebody else because now they know, no, it depends on how educated you are, how sharp an individual you are. The sharper you are, the better you are at analyzing people and seeing, you know, through lies and stuff like that, the more that that narcissist is going to run because they know anything they do is not going to work. 
So, you know, unless you have the Hope Diamond, okay, they're going to abandon ship and, and go to that other supply that they've been, you know, grooming on the side in case things fell apart with you. So narcissist, you know, like I said, there's three things a narcissist will do when they know that you know what they are. They're going to rage out. They're going to be wicked about it. And that's another thing too. Remember this, when things break down and you're indifferent to that narcissist and you're not showing them attention or anything like that, and you're kind of like stepping back a little bit, they could get very angry with it. And what they're going to do is they're going to, they're going to try to, you know, they're going to try to hurt you so hard to your core, whatever you're sensitive about, guess what? They're going to smear you. They're going to smear you. They're going to smear you to other people because how dare you see them for who they are? How dare you see that they're toxic? They're also going to call you the narcissist. This is what they love to do. We know that narcissist, it's always somebody else. They're always going to flip it on you. If you ever called a narcissist a narcissist, the first thing they're going to say is, no, you're the narcissist. You're the toxic one. You're the... They're always going to flip it back at you. No matter what you call them out on, that's their tool of defense. Let me flip it on you and flip the blame on you. It's a way of deflection to get any kind of blame off them, Okay. It doesn't matter what they say. Who gives a shit what a narcissist says? Anything out of their mouth is lies and toxicity. So don't care and stop. You know, you got to hold your, your feet in the ground. And whatever that narcissist comes back at you with, you don't care. All you care about is getting away from them because all they are is a waste of your time, waste of your energy, and waste of your life. They've wasted enough of your life. Now it's time to step back and not even honor them in your life or give them a place in your life. That's how you get revenge on a narcissist. You never, ever entertain that narcissist again. It doesn't matter if they come back in three days, six months, six years, 60 years. Guess what? If they do come back, you don't give them the time of day. You don't even acknowledge them, okay? And they will sink their own ship. They always do because their life is a mess. They don't live according to the way they should live, according to the way, you know, uh, you know what you reap, what you sow. So that's, that's what will happen to a narcissist. What they reap, they will sow. So they'll get back any kind of evilness that they give out. Believe me, this is so true because I've seen it, all right? Uh, I've seen it even in my own personal life. Things that I never thought would come back to somebody that was evil to me. It, it came back and I couldn't believe it. And I said to myself, oh my gosh, I can't believe that, you know, I predicted this. And this is exactly what happened. And now this person is going through something very serious in life. And, you know, this is what happens. You know, God works in mysterious ways, gang. All right. You can trust and believe that. But the point is... Pretty much when, you know, when they realize that you know what they are, it's pretty much, it's a wrap, okay? It's a wrap. The relationship is done. And, you know, that's when the narcissist really, you know, takes a, a powder and they're going to they're gonna disappear somewhere most of the time. First, if they're really angry about it, they're going to rip you up to shreds and smear you. Um, but if they just realize that, you know what, you know what they are and stuff like that, they're going to just move on to somebody else because they realize they're not going to get far with you because you're smart and you see right through them. So that's how that all works out. You guys, the minute that you see toxic, the minute, the minute, the minute you see toxic is the minute that you know, you can never take this person seriously and you can't trust their word. Okay. It's like when somebody lies to you, understand this. That's one of the lies of many to come down the road. You're just seeing the tip of the iceberg. Whatever toxicity they're showing you in the very beginning, understand this. That's going to be magnified 10 times greater if you stay with that person down the road. You're just seeing the tip of the iceberg. So if you want to avoid a lot of aggravation and you know wasting your life away with something like that, you get away from it, you step back from it, and you don't allow it into your life, okay? You decide who you want to allow into your life and who you don't. You have that power. You have that control over your own life. 
never ever be dependent on a narcissist. So, you know, just disengage and, you know, get away from it and start dealing with people that don't deal this kind of play these nonsense games. Okay. So I hope that helps you. If it did, please hit the subscribe button and please share the podcast. Have a great day, you guys. If you guys are having a problem in your dating or relationship or you're dealing with somebody maybe that's narcissistic, you don't know if they're a narcissist or you're just having problems, you're in a toxic relationship and you need some clarity on it, go to the link in the podcast description for my website where I offer email and phone coaching. If you have a quick question, just a quick question and you wanna get a video sent back to you answering your question, there's also a link there for Vizio, where I will send you a personalized video answering your question. Hi, you guys, it's Yaz, and I want to tell you about my two books on Amazon. The first book is Regain Your Power. It's all about power and relationship. Who has the power in the relationship? And it goes into all of that, okay? The other book is Signs He's Not Into You, He's Wasting Your Time, okay? Check it out. It gives you a lot of good clues as to whether you're with somebody who's a real one or somebody who's just going to waste your time. You could read them both with Kindle's free trial membership. So check it out. Link is in the podcast description. Hi, you guys. I just want to let you know that the game exposed now has their merchandise available. Check out the link in the bio and you could go check it out. There's cool hoodies, cool sweatpants, cool hats. So go to the bio for the link. And also don't forget to follow me on Facebook at the game exp123 and also on Instagram the game exp123 okay and have a great day mm-hmm.